turn it's not the way for me only a mile to go somewhere I'll belong I'll see You guys recognize the forklift got to maybe i don't know if you do or not but you're definitely not going to recognize the yard we're at the trailer store out in winnemucca nevada we got different scenery this time david's finally moving in to his new location and it is sweet he just got the place fully fenced in got the new dodge down here little tilt unit that is uh, almost an identical clone to my 212 trailer hydraulic dovetail hydraulic jack 26k that's a sweet rig, it just unfortunately it's got drum brakes on it, electrics. But we drove out here to pick up my buddy Casey's new trailer. Casey is the guy I bought the new 80 from, and he's, well, he's got probably the most legit, awesome Genworth there is. It's got a hook truck set up on it, and it is something that I've always wanted. It's kind of funny, him and I started talking, business related stuff, and then he calls and he says he's interested in getting a smaller trailer to haul around his TL12 or his 080. So I started off and said, get a little buddy, something like this. And he said, well, I want to haul the 080. So I said, well, you're going to have to get at least a 212 gooseneck to make it worth your while. He's got a 3500 dually back at the house. We just took the uh, high gear ratio rig today. But we're finally out here. The deck on the neck just showed up. David installed it. And I'll walk around this trailer real quick to show you the deal on it. This is... A tough man's all mechanical kind of trailer. David, this thing got electric brakes, right? This has got hydraulic jacks. <laughs> all right, Casey, get another feature. Demonstrate. I w if I would have known the ramp difference across uh, brands would have been this different, I definitely would have. One hander. Do you guys remember the Texas Pride trailer I had? You couldn't do it. The only time you did it one handed is if you were using a forklift. And th look at it, it almost floats a little bit. The ramp actually meets the ground nice, tapers back underneath so it'll actually support the load. The double spring feature. Hey David, how's it going? I haven't seen you in, yeah. since like last week you bought a trailer from me. Right? Yeah, it's going good. Um, <laughs> but yeah, then got two two springs on that pipe and two internal springs on the ramp. So everything's in cage and it's not a bunch of extra stuff sticking out. That's what gives you the balance between the band and Yeah. One one's giving you the go and the other one's giving you the you know power. That's why it's just picking up. And it's yeah. gotta be about right here because neither one's doing shit. Right. And then when you get over. Yeah. yeah. The, nice, the only nice thing they do for that for sure, you know, is they put these things on, which you know, see them driving down the road all the time with a strap. Yep. The reason why they got the strap is because they make more noise. People can't stand it. Mm hmm. Especially since this one's got such a good spring assist, it's just hovering. Anyway, so you take this, you take this bar right here, you pull that out, and you got your mounting pins here and here, and then you can leave it straight up. So if you got your load a little bit long where you can't put your ramps down, you can just leave them straight, straight up. Right. The 080 might be close 
to not having to, well, you either leave the boom up, flip the ramps, and then, or do that route. You're gonna load that green curve on here in just a minute. Yeah, put that green one on there? Yeah. You, did you put that, uh, one of those cheap trailers in there too? Oh, it's already in there? It yeah, looked, you can the extra right tires? Right yeah, we got that. Don't leave with these. You gotta get orders, you gotta get them all, bro. We got, we got all the colors. I can hear them. You can hear those ones? Yeah. Whistling at me. Well, the funniest part about all this is Casey's got the most badass semi truck there is. He can haul a pinnel behind it and haul the tractors on the truck itself. But, you know, height regulations. I had to have one. Yeah. You know, I got to join the club. <laughs> when I, whenever I first saw your stuff on Instagram, I was like, that guy's got the coolest shit ever. I saw his 080. Bought the 080 from him, though, so that worked out. That was cool. Well, but then... Then I come over and check out your trailer inventory, and then I got an impulse. Yeah. my ass and had to freaking... But you hadn't come over yet before you made the phone call asking about the trailer, so... Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You already set yourself up. I did. I yeah. No, there's. <laughs> every once in a while, I have more trailers in my yard than David does. So. Yeah. The last couple of years, that's been true. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, yeah that's, that's a sad truth for the trailer market and for my spending habit. It's getting better, though. Now, now you can buy just about everything we want. Yeah. No, I'm, I like the new digs a lot. This is. Uh, Aside from that house over there with the dogs, this is cozy. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> like some friendly dogs. This yard or is that just leaving the shop? I better just let it sit for a week or so. No. What's your guess on how much this weighs? Probably 75-ish. 85. 85. I don't know if that's with the neck. I kind of doubt it. Since the deck showed up four that's months later. Thing, yeah. yeah. 7,000 pounds. Oh, well, I ain't bad. So technically, you only need like 2,000 pounds on your truck to haul the 080 on here. Right. And that's, what's your, with all your boxes and everything, you got like 2,000 pounds worth of weight you can put on the truck. Yeah. Load it Yeah, up. give or take. If it helps if you put helium in your tracks on your machine. Absolutely. Yeah, and that's usually how you skate through there. Same just, with your tires. And you just refill the tires, some nitrogen. Doesn't that counterbalance the uh, gravitational pull of the telephone wires? Yeah, that's fine. But you don't want to catch them on fire. Just give me a little bit. Yeah, don't do it. I'll catch this stuff on fire. How's it feel to be a Diamond Sea owner? It's, it's nice. We need to get, get something on there. You know, put one of your trailers on there, right? Yeah, right. There we go. Let's go out down this 2500 a little bit. That air suspension's going, I don't know what to do. Yeah, now that's a pretty good color choice, I'd say. It looks great with that deck on the neck. Following this guy, I don't know. He acts like he owns a town or something. Well, that one back here is pretty much the same as my dump trailer, just two feet shorter. And, yeah, well, everybody was giving me a hard time when I didn't go to telescoping. They didn't have the telescoping cylinder. And they they still don't make an 18-foot telescope. Yeah, they don't, they don't make it. Well, they make the deck over. Like, you know, workhorse dump is what they call it. Uh-huh. Oh. If you want the telescopic on that, you got to upgrade the Honda engine. It's like a $15,000 option. I've been looking for one of those for years. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking for just the trailer to be the option price. Mm -hmm. I'm you know, letting you grow a few So, Ed, made by a guy in Mexico, and yeah. uh, they... Man... <laughs> This design looks similar. Have we ever seen something like this before? A few of them out there. Yeah, a few of them. You got, you got one in Texas that makes something like this. There's a couple manufacturers pulling that one piece neck. Yeah, out. and then. So that, the one piece <laughs> neck isn't the patented system. Yeah, I know. It's the rest of the frame, the engineered beam. But this, that's like a signature and a half right. is the neck. I lifted this one yesterday. This thing had like. This one's watertight. You can see the water. Yeah, I can see it up there. It had plenty of water. Oh, I bet. Yeah. These things, uh, that's a sweet system right there. It's a lot nicer than that other trailer I had that I never used that because it's such crap. Man, this one's got a lot more upgrades than mine does. Son of a gun. I, like we were talking earlier, I bought one. Every one I get has something new going on. 
Yeah, uh, David's got these cheap little utility trailers, and I've always been BSing about buying one, so I didn't get out of not buying the trailer today. So then I'm getting one. Casey had to buy the expensive one though. Significantly nicer than mine. Do the standard, make sure everything's not boiling back here. Break in period. Yep, that was a little hotter than the front one. About buck twenty. <laughs> You can keep your hand on something to about 100 once it gets in the triples. Yeah, that right to the rear is hot. <sighs> that feels like a standard one where you can kind of hit your hand on it. That that first trailer I got, shoot, what a pain in the butt. I got so tired of that and then I got those Diamond C ones and I was like, this is a lot nicer. They're not blowing seals or nothing all the time. You have been doing the speed one. In Nevada, which is way faster than California, can you dream about? Yeah, that fucking car was like almost kicked. It was about a stage off from catching air underneath some tires. Just so. Well, we made it back. Diamond C number one from David. Actually, Diamond C number like seven from technically. Another Diamond C from David. Another two third Diamond C, David. And Casey's new Diamond C from David. And my little go kart trailer. And David's new tow from David. Well, that's the easiest way to do it. Gotta give Casey the little bucket back. When we bought the oil from him, we bought a bare stick, but he let us borrow a bucket so he can at least do something with it. Use it on the job. So we're gonna throw that up on his trailer, so we can take it on home. So check this out. Option I didn't know about. Oh. Why didn't, what? Backup lights on the trailer. Put it in reverse, she clicks on. Can't believe it. Nobody told me about this. You must be on the inside track. Top yeah, top secret. Oh, I gotta bleep it out. Well, that was an awesome trip out to visit our buddy David at the trailer store out in Winnemucca, Nevada. It's about a 700 mile round trip for my house in case he's a little bit farther. But we got this prize gem right here, this little tiny side by side trailer. You know, Callahan and I are pretty excited about it. That was what the whole trip was for. Nah, I'm just kidding. Casey hit me up a while back, like I said, and I just want to touch base on the fact that the guy with the coolest hook truck Kenworth setup that there is was wanting to appreciate and acknowledge and possibly buy a gooseneck truck trailer combo because he just flat out said these things are capable and they're very versatile. And if you just got a little mission like what we're showing here, just pick up a couple tanks and a trailer tank, that's all you need. But if you're going to buy a trailer, might as well make it multi-purpose get a trailer that can haul some weight and that's exactly what he got now he got himself the honest man trailer here there's no extra hydraulic frills on this thing it's got manual jacks got the manual you know they are spring assisted ramps on the back that are very awesome but he did upgrade the stuff that needed to be he's got 17.5 tires and wheels got the hutch suspension upgrade and those two components are key in making this thing last long 16 inch standard not that good they don't hold up well in the corners and the suspension that's standard that's a little iffy in the corners as well it might handle the weight and straight lines for long haulers but where we take these trucks and trailers they they're going to get tweaked and pushed around now the 080 by itself is no slouch upgrade the tracks upgrade put an incon on it grapple mulcher head he's making it count right here and yeah i'm pretty stoked for him it's the first goosenecks first diamond c Kind of funny considering he's got the coolest Kenworth, like I said. I'll say it all day long. That truck is bad as it gets. It's cool. But now, he's got a very practical and useful and capable Diamond C trailer to tow behind his 3500 or soon to be 5500. Thank you guys for watching. See you on the next one. Later.